Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Firstly, I apologize for not having um, videos up for the past two days. I spoke about this on Instagram, but I'm just going through some like tough things now. And um, I just can't pull myself together at times. So I can't like put makeup on and make a video. I mean, I could, but like I just, I'm not there. You know what I'm saying? So I will try to go ahead and still be consistent this, this week. But if I'm not, then you guys know why but i wanted to welcome you guys once again to my weekly makeup video i think i will go ahead and do a shop my stash series for this week uh so get ready i have some exciting products i hope you guys are having a wonderful start to your week and let's get started as per usual this is where i keep my foundations tinted moisturizers and concealers as well i will be doing a organize with me video um like with my makeup in the next i would say week or so my brother is supposed to build my shelves this week i'm hunting him down like yo you gotta do it like it's been months so he's like okay okay i'll do it this week so um be prepared for that video because that's going to be really exciting a lot of you guys want me to organize with you so that's what i'll do so this video will probably be one of the last ones where everything is pretty like messy ish you know but anyways for this week i'm going to go ahead and try this this is by uh, first aid beauty and this is the ultra repair tinted moisturizer it has spf 30, which is great and I have mine in the shade light Octoly recently sent this over to me so I could test this and share with you guys my opinions and thoughts on it and I was so excited because you guys already know that I'm so into like tinted moisturizers as of lately so when I saw that they sent this over I'm like hell yeah I'm so excited so I'll definitely keep you guys posted and let you know how this performs and works but I'm damn excited for this as for concealers I think I'm gonna go ahead um I really just don't know I don't know like I like my concealers, but I'm not like dying over any of them, you know um, eh, I think I'll go ahead and use this one. Uh, this is the YSL one This is a nice one, but it's not like my favorite. It has more of a yellowy undertone to it So that's why I'm not beyond ecstatic about it, but um, I will use this and if I feel like it is a bit yellow I'll go ahead and pull out one that's a bit more, you know pinkier in tone But I think that's pretty much it for this drawer I did purchase this during the Ulta 21 days of beauty event and I do want to use it But I'm actually a little bit more interested to try this one. So let's go ahead and use that okay, Moving on to the next drawer here is basically where I keep my facial luminizers and my primers as well So I do want to go ahead and pick one up that helps with my pores. So one that fills in my pores I'm going to use this one this is the peter thomas roth skin to die for primer now i got this in my sephora play box i didn't have a chance to use it so very excited to use that as for like luminizers i think i'm gonna go ahead and possibly pull out this one i've used this a lot like i would say a month ago and i do really enjoy it it's more of a cream finish and it doesn't add a crazy amount of luminosity to the skin but i would say the perfect amount and they have different shades to choose from so if this one is a bit too light for you you have a deeper one and then a mid-toned one as well but i'm gonna go ahead and use this one all right, moving on to the next drawer. Here is where I'm keeping my lip products. And like I mentioned, I'm gonna be organizing everything. So I'm so freaking excited for that. Um, I think I'm gonna pull this out. Very, very excited for this. It looks stunning on. This is by MAC, one of their Luminous Lip, no, I'm sorry, Lip Intensity Lipstick in the shade Burnt Violet. I um, got this in my boxy charm. I was like so taken back because I was like, what the hell, MAC? But um, I really liked how it looked on my lips and a bunch of you guys did too. So I'll pull that out if I want to go for more of a bold look. But I still want to go ahead and use something a bit more, I would say, everyday appropriate and not so loud. So I'll pull this gloss out. This is by NARS. This is the Orgasm Blush. Blush? What am I saying? This is the Orgasm Gloss. So it's a beautiful peachy color. Then, um, hmm. I'm not sure what else. Let's see. Let's pull this out. This is one of the TARDIS lip paints in the shade Namaste. Namaste. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's a really beautiful um, nude color, which I think would be great. So three lip products. I think that should be good for now. Okay, moving on to the next drawer. Whoa. Okay. In here I have my bronzers. So what am I going to be using for this week? Um... Maybe this. I actually haven't used this in a long, long time. Um, but it looked really, really good on my skin Like when I did use it. That's how it looks. I think that the shade is not limited edition, but the compact is. This is by MAC, and this is one of their um, Studio Sculpt Defining Bronzing Powders in the shade Delicate. So I'll go ahead and use this because I actually miss it a lot. Um, and then I'm also going to pull out... 
this. No, I'm not actually. I'm sorry for this. I'm not into you this week. Oh, let's pull this out. I haven't used this in ages. This is the Hourglass Bronzer. And it's so pretty. It has a little bit of a sheen to it. And also, this is one that I haven't used in such a long time. But I paid, like, my ass off for this. So, <laughs> I have to give it some love. It's the Luminous Bronze Light uh, Bronzer. Okay, I think we're good in this section. Let's move on to blush. Blusher. I love when people from, like, England say that. Like, blusher. It's, like, so cute. Okay. For blush, let's go ahead and use, um, maybe, like, a palette. So, like, this will have options. Um... Let's use, no, this one. No, maybe let's use this. I haven't used this in so long. Okay, one second. Everything is totally gonna fall out. Yeah, let's use this. This is the Tardis Blush Palette by Tarte. This was such a good one. I'm so sad that it was limited edition, but I mean, it's not like beyond unique shades and shades we've never seen, but the formula is stunning. They apply beautifully and you have great pinks, a coral one, which I'm totally going to get into for this week. And then like the um, nude ones as well. So I'm very, very excited for this one. Plus the packaging is so freaking cute. Oh, oh my God. No, I also want to use this. I totally forgot about this. I got this in my BoxyCharm uh, two months ago and I haven't put it to the test. Like what is up girl? So this is how it looks. It's a stunning, um, I would say raspberry-ish new type of shade. You guys can see it has a little bit of kick up there, but it is a matte finish and I'm sure it's going to look beautiful on. So I'm going to use the pretty vulgar one as well. All right, we are done with this drool. Now let's move on to the next. I think we're up to this one. Yeah, highlighter. Okay, so for highlighter, I already have something else. Let me just go ahead and get it. One second. Okay, so for highlighter, I'm going to go ahead and use these highlighters. These are the Smashbox and Avalada Petal Metal Highlighters. I spoke about these in my wishlist video, I believe, last week. And I haven't opened it up yet, but I know that they're absolutely stunning because I just know from, like, pictures and stuff. I do want to do a first impressions with these. So these are the highlighters that I'm going to be using for the week. Very excited for that. Um, I think it should be up in the next few days, hopefully, if I'm feeling up for it. Um, so that's what I'm going to use. I'm also going to pull out... Um, I think I'm going to pull out one of the Becca highlighters that I haven't used in ages. Actually, you know what I want? I'll tell you what I want. I mean, firstly, I want ice cream, but besides for food, I want the... Um, I know what I want. One second. Okay. Found it, found it, found it. I wanted to use this. This is the Becca and Jaclyn Hill um, palette that she collaborated with them three years ago by now, I think. Two and a half years ago. But the reason why I want to go ahead and use this is because I want to use the shade um, Pearl. It's a stunning opaly white color. And then I can mix Champagne Pop with it, which they do sell Champagne Pop as a single as well as this one, as well as this one. But I have it in this palette. So I'm going to go ahead and use this. I haven't used it in probably a year. Um, but probably going to be using mainly the Smashbox products. Then let's move on to eyeshadows. Now for eyeshadows as well, I have two palettes that I'm going to be using. So one secondito. Okay, so I don't know why I just didn't prepare it before, but I'm going to go ahead and use the Maybelline Lemonade Craze Eyeshadow Palette. I'm not going to lie, I swatched a few of these. I wanted to do like a first impression, but I was dying to like test them out, like at least a few of them. So the few that I swatched were really, really nice. I heard mixed reviews on this. Um, so I'm not sure. I'm not going to go ahead and swatch all of them because I still want to be like, you know, impressed or like disappointed when I do swatch them in my first impression video but the few that I've swatched like the four of them were pretty like not bad at all you know um I've heard people say that this also smells like citrusy I find that it smells like yogurt which is really off but that's what I think it smells like let me know what you guys think this smells like if you do have this but look forward to that video um and let me know what kind of look you would want me to create with this something a bit more out there or more of like a neutrally look that we you know see over and over again so let me know um, then I'm going to go ahead and use this Vlada and Smashbox Cover Shot Petal Metal Eyeshadow Palette. I was dying to get this. The packaging is super cool. I love these Smashbox little palettes. They're so travel friendly and convenient. And the colors in here are stunning. It's like rose gold, like golden-y type of shades. And I'm totally about that life. So I'm going to be using these two probably in first impressions video. So hopefully they're not shit. And then I want to also go ahead and try to use this as well. This is from Estee Lauder. And this is one of their... 
Pure Color Envy Shadow Paints in the shade 04 Jaded. That's how it looks. It's this really nice and stunning um, emerald green kind of color. And I want to see if this is comparable to like the Stila Glitter and Glows, even though this one doesn't have like heavy glitters in there. I want to just see how it performs, you know? This was actually sent to me from Octoly recently um, so that I can share with you guys my opinions and thoughts on it. And I figured it would be a great week to test it out because it's a stunning shade and you can totally go very like smoky with this, you know? I'll put myself to the test and let's see if I can come up with something cool. And so that's pretty much it for the drawers. Oh, also, I wanted to actually ask you guys. Oh my God, I hate that noise. I want to do like a, um, what I want to do? I want to do a declutter video, but I want to know if you guys would want me to, you know, sell my palettes if you guys are interested in that or if you're not, because there are a nice amount of palettes here that I purchased that I either don't use anymore or just doesn't work out for me. But if you guys would be interested in me doing a declutter and then possibly, you know, selling it, then let me know like on a blog or something, then I can totally do that because I know you would enjoy a declutter video, but I've been asked many times if I'm going to be selling any of my palettes and I just didn't know what to say because I don't know if you guys are interested. So let me know if you will be interested in that and then I'll take it from there. But that's pretty much it for my palettes I think that I'm going to be using for the week because I've already chosen the Cover Shot one and the Maybelline one and then the Estee Lauder um, shadow paint. So let's move on to brows. I really like my shoes. They're like the kid size, by the way. And they're like $10 cheaper. Why should I spend like, you know, 70 bucks on the, on the adult size if I can get kid size for 60 Anyways, um, here's where I keep my brow products and all that jazz. I still didn't organize it. I'm telling you, like, I just need, to, like, a friend to come over and be like, yo, let's do this. But I do think that once my brother um, builds me the shelves, I'll be more motivated because I just feel like I have no room. And, like, this, if I have the shelves, I'll be able to have more room. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, um, I already organized everything in here that I pretty much want to go ahead and use. This is going to be in my, I believe, um, April favorites video. I've been loving this. This is the CoverGirl Brow Pencil in the shade Soft Brown. This is what I've been using pretty much the entire month, and I really, really love it a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and use that along with this, which I adore as well, and it's the only thing that I have in my brows today. This is the Brow Precise Fiber Volumizer by Maybelline. Um, it's really nice. It adds like these fibers to your brows, making them look and appear fuller. Um, it's really easy and very fast, and it just works great on its own um, or with any other brow product. I'm gonna use this adorable little lash curler by Tarte. This is from their Mermaid Collection. Yeah, yeah, I think Mermaid Collection. It's pretty good, I actually really like it. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and use these two um, mascaras. I used these two the whole week last week and I think this is a match made in heaven. So firstly, right off the bat, the Lancome Monster Big Mascara is like a sexified mascara. Like, I don't know what I did without this. Seriously, the best of the best. But I find that layering it with this one, which is the, um, what is this, Butter London Double Decker Lashes really adds like a punch like with the Lancome one it's like damn but with this one it's like ham, you know so I've been really enjoying that combination I'm going to continue using that combo for the week um as for eyeliners I'm going to go ahead and use this one this is by L'Oreal the infallible just basic black liner really nice and I think that's pretty much it for this drawer then I'm going to go ahead and use um powders okay so I'm going to use I think this Bye Bye Pores Press Powder. I've used this one last week to the most part. So I'm going to use this one. It's the same one, just a baby size. And then I'm also going to pull out the CoverGirl one as well. This is also most probably going to be my favorites video. I do really like it. It uh, has a great consistency to it. And it really sets down your makeup beautifully. The only thing I will say is that I hate that it oxidizes. Like, why? But besides for that, super nice and very thin. So I do like that. And I think I'm going to go ahead and use this as well. I haven't used this in so long. This is the Hourglass ambient lighting palette powder powders um so basically for this i really like to use this on my face occasionally because it adds a beautiful like just like an i just add something nice to the face i can't put my finger on it but my favorite shade is this one but the other ones are really nice too i've had this for probably like three years so i do want to get a nice amount of use out of it so let's pull this out for the week as for setting sprays let's move on to my setting spray area so i did go ahead and put my setting sprays over here again once my brother builds my shelves i'll be able to organize everything nicer um i know it seems like it's a <laughs> beyond excessive amount but i love setting sprays so it's like you know i need it at all times to be filled up like hell just like it is now um i think i'm gonna go ahead and use my mac prep and prime setting spray i've been using this 
for the past two weeks, I will say, and I've been really enjoying it. I love what it does for my skin. It sets, every, it sets everything in beautifully, and I have two backups here as well, so I do want to get a nice amount of use out of this. So as for makeup removing wipes, I'm going to be using the Make, um, Bliss Makeup Melt makeup removing wipe. So this is okay, not my favorite, not something that I absolutely hate. Um, I didn't realize that I placed an order at Ulta and purchased this, but then I also bought one from Target. So I finished one pack already and this is my second one. So I'm gonna go ahead and use these for the week. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed the Shop My Stash series for this week. I'm really excited for so many of the products and I wanna probably go ahead and do um, a few more tutorials, you know, cause I'm like, I barely do them and they are a lot of fun, so. Plus, I have like really like fun spring type of looks in mind, so I want to go ahead and do that. Um, for nail polish, I have this gorgeous red type of color. Um, it's called A-List by Essie. Um, it's one from the nail salon. I didn't have my own polish, so this is the one I chose. I think it's a beautiful shade. Um, and yeah, it's like springy, summery, wintry, foley, so all of that together in one. I didn't want to show you guys this hand because I totally ruined it. I was scratching myself, and I didn't realize like... I, I let it dry for like 20 minutes and I scratched myself and that's what happens and I'm like ass. But anyways, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely let me know if there are any exciting products you guys are going to be using for the week. I love you guys so much, more than you will know. And I appreciate every single one of you. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.